My name is Dr. Jordina Rincon Torreya, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins. It's a privilege for me to work every day with my two colleagues who are sitting next to me, both professors of neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins. Dr. Shenandoah Robinson, who is an accomplished neurosurgeon scientist, and Dr. Judy Huang, who is a devoted clinician educator. In October 2023, Dr. Robinson became the president of the American Academy of Neurological Surgery, the first ever woman to serve in that leadership role since its establishment. And earlier in June, Dr. Huang, president of the Neurosurgical Society of America. Two of our field's leading professional associations, each with elected membership. It's an honor for me to talk with them today about, about their experience working in the field of neurosurgery. So let's jump in. When you entered the field of neurosurgery, if someone had told you, Dr. Robinson, that you would be named the president of the academy, and you, Dr. Huang, that you would be the president of the NSA, what would you have said? Yeah, I would have been in complete disbelief. At the time that I was entering the field, I didn't even see anybody that looked like me. So let alone to imagine that I would be uh, in a leadership position is, is pretty incredible, actually, and not something I would have imagined possible. Yeah, I would completely agree with that. I think um, we're very lucky to be neurosurgeons. It's one of the most rewarding things that you can do, um, but it also does require some dedication and commitment and a long time to train. And so it's good to look around and, and get to know the field before you commit to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely um, very clear that uh, there have been a lot of trailblazers before us. Mm -hmm. And so it's a path that's been um, you know, followed by many, many people ahead of us. And, uh, and so there's always advice that we can get from people who've come before us. And then, uh, you know, I think a lot of people have learned lessons along the way and anybody can uh, really uh, benefit from tapping into uh, lessons that have been learned. Yeah, every step of my career I've had great mentors. Mm -hmm. And what are some things about neurosurgery that excite you now? Oh, so many things. Right? <laughs> uh, I think, um, you know, neurosurgery is a incredibly technology heavy field. And so uh, there are lots of advances that happen really at a, a mind blowing speed. Uh, and it's, you know, looking at um, new ways of understanding disease, like what you're doing, what Dr. Robinson is doing in terms of research, um, trying to understand um, you know, how, how diseases happen and how best to treat them. Um, and then the technology is there to give us tools to treat diseases that uh, were previously difficult to treat. And so there's a lot of uh, new technology and, and new investigation that happens. Yeah, I completely agree. I think every subspecialty area of neurosurgery has just completely exploded with new technology, with new instrumentation and techniques for spine, new um, options for treating epilepsy with various technologies and expanding who we can treat. So, um, you know, I think it's just a very exciting time to be in neurosurgery and it will continue to be so. I also think that uh, in our uh, quest for getting better and better at what we do in terms of outcomes, I think that there's a tremendous push towards uh, decreasing invasiveness mm -hmm. of the surgeries that we do. And um, that has taken off in the field of vascular in particular. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's definitely existing in spine and, and other things where um, we are able to perform surgeries um, more safely um, with shorter recovery times and, and all these uh, are for the benefit of our patients. Well, thank you so much. We are all very excited of having you as presidents of these very well-known neurosurgical societies. Thank you. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you.